The Bernard Nacht Institute for Tropical Medicine. More than 400 people work here for global health. Using cutting-edge methods, we investigate how our immune system responds to tropical parasites, viruses, or bacteria. We also investigate how some of these pathogens manage to escape our immune response, and we analyze how they evolve and where they spread. We break them down into their smallest building blocks, discover their functions, and identify where new active substances could intervene. We want to understand how pathogens are transmitted and what happens when climate change leads to higher temperatures, longer heat waves, and altered rainfall patterns. We research hemorrhagic fever viruses such as Ebola, Marburg, Nipah, and Lassa viruses. Our goal, to find approaches for drugs and vaccines that mitigate the threat posed by these deadly viruses. We share our knowledge with each other, with young scientists, with our cooperation partners, and with the public. We teach how to diagnose and treat infections caused by tropical pathogens. Experts from around the world come to us to benefit from the knowledge we have accumulated over many decades. We are committed to the health of all people worldwide, especially in countries with limited resources. The Bernard Nacht Institute has its historical roots in the colonial era. The cholera epidemic in Hamburg in 1892 provided the final impetus for its founding. Initially, the institute primarily focused on colonial doctors, ship crews, and troops. Our history is both a responsibility and a mission to diversity, plurality, respect, and tolerance, particularly in our cooperation with our partners, such as the Kumasi Center for Collaborative Research in Tropical Medicine in Ghana, the Centre de Recherche Médicale de Lambarine in Gabon, or the Irua Specialist Teaching Hospital in Nigeria. We are united in the fight against poverty-related neglected tropical diseases, against malaria, and against outbreaks of highly dangerous pathogens such as Ebola or Marburg viruses. In the East African community, we supported the establishment of a network of mobile laboratories. The sample does not come to the laboratory, the laboratory comes to the sample. The European Mobile Lab is also operational in no time. Regular training ensures that teams remain prepared and capable of action in the event of an outbreak. Global health is a crucial foundation for economic development, social justice, and peace. This knowledge drives us forward. <laughs>